clear. Visibility one zero, ceiling three thousand five hundred, broken four thousand seven hundred, broken niner thousand, overcast temperature two eight Celsius, dew point one eight altimeter three zero zero one remarks, density altitude two thousand niner hundred. Winds are unreliable. So I've been working on. Uh Checklists. Got three different ways of doing checklists on here, which is kind of a bit too much, but just trying to figure out which one works the best. I've got the check, a little bit of a checklist done into the G3X, and then I've got some, um, I've got it also done into the, um, into um, Four Flight and also Garmin Pilot. So, Uh, one of the things I want to find out today, just I'm just doing a quick taxi around, is uh, just kind of like how much time I've got on a startup and getting ready like I am right now to get down to that um, to the uh, end of the runway at five there before I get to 150. So right now we're on 98 and 102. So I'm just going to taxi down here and see how long that takes and try not to run the engine up too much to get it warm. Looks like we got some more storm clouds coming, but it looks like there's a bit of rain over there. Might come in. Oh well, it does it does. I've got uh, rain X on all the um, acrylic now, so uh, if you get some rain on there, it should just run off. All right, so I got 112. I didn't open up the uh, scoop yet, so let me do that real quick. I'm going to disconnect the uh, top scoop for first flight just because I want more air to be sort of pressed in there. Um, but the cowl vent on the bottom of the engine there, I want that to be open. It's been a while since I've been down here. Alright, 124. This is with the AC on too, so that's running the engine up a little bit more up here. Traffic for your eight four four zero zero ten miles to southeast of the inner gate, left downwind runway two five six. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the engine going here. also checking my audio levels from last time they were a little low and I had to bump them up in the editor this is going to warm up the engine I'm turning here all right so we're at 134 that's at 416 p.m. I'm just going to let it sit here and idle and see how long it takes to get to 150. It's not going to take long. Canton, Cherokee County Airport. 
automated weather observation, too. Air 140. And outside air temperature is 83 today. So, uh, yeah, checklists. I've got this, um, this uh, iPad here set up. I've got ForeFlight and also got Garmin Pilot on it. And I've basically created a whole um, set of checklists for all the different flight regimes. Not not for all the abnormal stuff yet, not for the all the emergency, but just um, for just regular, you know, pre-flight um, cruise, takeoff, all that sort of stuff, uh, landing, descent, all that stuff. So I've got all those in there, and you can just, you know, look at those, and you can go through it. And that's this is a Garmin Pilot, I believe. There, I'm gonna switch over to four flight. Uh, let's see. We go to checklists. I gotta remember how to do this. Devices. Alright, check there's a checklist there, so for example, um, that's the before takeoff checklist. So I can come in here and go through all that stuff in there. Doors, parachute handle, seat belts, air conditioner, and pressurization system, and it's cool this thing because it has the ability um, to speak these and just step through it automatically. I don't believe I've got this hooked in yet that the audio is going to come through here. I need to work on that. Yeah, that's not coming through. So uh, that's what that's something I want to work on. Get the four flight audio coming through on here and I need to make some more adjustments to the iPad so it doesn't turn off the screen when it's running. All right, there's 150 there, so 416. So it's about two more minutes um, after having parked here that it took to, uh, to get um, up to 150. So this would be the time there. You know, we want to be in position there for the first flight. But as I said on the last video, uh, Justin's going to be taking the aircraft down the runway like I was doing before and just uh, stepping up the speed and um, pulling, the no pulling the elevator there just to uh, see we can get the, air the, get the nose off and then get the mains off um, without sort of, you know, burn, burn out the whole runway. Uh, anyway, so i got to work on the checklist a little bit more and just get things dialed in for that, but I've pretty much got the checklist done now. And uh, I'm going to try and get that audio to come through. Cherokee County traffic, Warrior 84400, turning and left that one on the 45, runway 23, Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, touches 01 Romeo, it's about nine miles out on the RNAV 5, circle to land 23, Cherokee. Let's see where that guy was. I want to see if uh, traffic's coming through on this as well. Oh yeah, got some targets on there. Yeah, seeing these guys showing up, so traffic showing up there. So that's linked through the Connect system into the uh, GDL uh, 51. So it's getting AD ADSB data and the weather and stuff there. And I believe that my internet connection is up and running here. Let's check that and see. Looks like it. Cherokee County traffic, Warrior 84400, turning left. Yeah, because if the internet's up and working, then I can remotely connect to this, um, you know, from my laptop later on. Uh, Warrior yeah, going into Cherokee, your full good. stop. We'll be touching the Warrior 4200. Yeah, I'll see you on, uh, on the pilot. Roger that. Cherokee that's good. traffic. Touches 01 Romeo is on a five mile final for runway 5, circle to land 23, Cherokee. That's getting traffic information traffic too on there, which is cool. Short final, runway two, three, so the Connect system is working there. So now I have uh, what is ostensibly the whole um, panel here uh, the G3X, backup G5, engine instrumentation via MoTeC display on the Windows PC or tablet. And then um, either 4Flight or Garmin Pilot here 
I haven't decided which one I'm really going to work with. I mean, they both sort of integrate uh, to some extent. Um, so I haven't decided exactly, but I'll probably end up using four flight. Then of course it's 750 here and then all the other remote ones that are behind the panel. All right, um, I'm just going to taxi back down over there. I don't really want to do too much today. The guys are going to be here on Monday for the first round of testing. So, just making sure everything's good. The engine started up great this time. Cherokee County traffic, courtyard 84400, departure and runway 23, exit in the area to the southeast. Cherokee. Stop here for a second and uh, want to see what my uh, intake temps are doing there. The airbox pressure. Oh, it's on this screen. I put it on this screen. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've modified this first flight screen. I don't know how well you can see this. I'll bring this in a bit further here. Um, so I've modified this and I'll probably just show it to you when I edit the video here. Um, so I've added a couple of other indicators here, adjusted, and I've also added the inlet temperature. So because we're not getting any fresh air coming in right now, the, the actual intake to the engine is um, registering 99 degrees, even though it's only 82 outside. So the heat coming off the engine right now is being sucked back into the engine, which obviously is not ideal, but that intake there is right there behind where the scoop is and so when it's moving that should cool down um, quite dramatically. In fact I might go over the other side of the runway there and uh, try that out just by taxiing along. Very good traffic, that's a zero one Romeo, is turning final runway 23, Cherokee. I'll save it till later because there's a couple guys in the pattern now so save it to next time. Anyway, as I said, I've had to do a bunch of other stuff too in the last couple of days. I had to clean up the hangar here because um, airport manager wants to try and get another airplane in next to me. See that tablet's gone off again, so I'm gonna have to dial it in so it stays on when when four flight is active. Or uh, yeah, Gar Garmin Pilot, one of those, or both of them. When both in the back to I need to have it so it stays on there. They're showing the weather there. That's handy. What that's gonna do? Uh, looks like it's not moving very much, it's almost a static state. Very good traffic, there. that's a zero one Romeo. Climbing out runway 23, left close traffic, Cherokee. Yep. Alright, well I'm going to shut it down. So, uh, it's just a real short little video for you guys just to show you. I'm just still dialing things in, getting everything ready for those guys when they show up on Monday. So, and uh, uh, just in the pattern, 3-2 Echo, uh, did you guys come past that precept? Catch you guys on the next one. Uh, I'll probably be out well. on the weekend again and just give it another little right, run and do a few know, things. Uh, so uh, I may have another way. video before they get out here. Um, thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Very good traffic, got to zero on Romeo's left cross, one, two, three, Cherokee.